Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. In a fun mood this morning, you will be able to tell. We're going to hit quakes, weather, ice, Mars, and a spectacular discovery at the edge of the solar system. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. The sun is in uptick mode for sure. Long-duration flares have begun. CMEs getting gorgeous. Coronal hole looking like a titan. We have several sunspots capable of flaring and releasing further CMEs. They have not targeted Earth thus far. We'll see the biggest one of the last day momentarily, but right now Earth has magnetically connected to this coronal hole, so a three-day excess magnitude watch is in effect now. Solar wind enhancements are expected later this week, but right now let's look at that eruption you probably saw emerging off the right side. It was a long-duration M-class solar flare that was barely visible to us from just having crested over the limb. While not as high energy a peak as the X2 solar flare yesterday, the spike in the middle of the chart, that mountain, the fatter hump to the right, is the long-duration blast. Those always beat the impulsive flares, even if their flare rating is higher. Here's the CME. Wow, monstrous blast. It wouldn't have been a kill shot if it came our way, but auroral outbursts could have dazzled for the third time in 10 months. By the way, the pyramid shape of the coronal hole is not the first such sighting. Let's go back to March 2012, the original triangle coronal hole. Interesting how recurrence follows such features. As I mentioned before, we've got sunspots, not as many groups, but the few have some complexity there at the corners. We're eyes open. Up next, this is my submission. I know I don't officially work for the government, but it's just too funny how many government employees can't do this, can't even check their email. Interesting, but not a scary seismic note. Pretty rare the top three quakes on Earth in a given day surround North America. We're always monitoring the seismic situation. We'll keep a closer eye here today. Folks, this morning on spaceweather.com, my colleague Dr. Phillips from NASA is a trifle concerned over the proposed Trump cuts to NOAA, the cuts and the reorganization. I will say this, nothing he says is factually inaccurate. There are only a handful of projects I would deem more important than monitoring space weather. However, both the actual statement from the government and the press release he himself linked in the paragraph do not discuss cuts to space weather and those are not on the table. It is just to NOAA's climate propaganda arm, and to that I say how much will you be cutting and can I watch while eating pork cracklins. Folks, remember when we said to monitor this tropical moisture belt? Yeah, it's thrown out four named storms and it may not be done yet. Cyclone season certainly in full swing at the moment. Remember tropical storms here are cyclones, they're typhoons to the north near Japan, and surrounding the Americas they are hurricanes. Why? for no good reason. So let's go to the Southern Ocean where an iceberg is careening around the frozen continent. It's A84 and it recently broke off but has shown faster motion in the region than pretty much any before it. Speedy little guy. Up next folks, when you heard that Mars once had water, you probably pictured things like this, a beach scene, river, streams, oceans. Turns out that's exactly what it was. They found evidence that the rover is in a region that used to be a beach just like you'd visit on vacation. That is pretty cool. Lastly today, folks, the Oort Spiral. This is a new one for me, technically a new one for everyone, but not wholly unexpected, especially if you have an electromagnetic mindset. The shape of the inner Oort cloud is a helix, a spiral, and this is the point where gravitational scientists do everything in their power not to make eye contact with electromagnetic and plasma physics proponents. Central coil within the heliosphere. Why would it look any different? Folks, the next conference day at Observer Ranch is March 15th. There's events going on every week, observers present regularly. Check out the calendar of events, play with the Observer Bot, grab your books, or reserve your stay. Come see us in person. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.